News from where you live. Good morning at 633. We are following breaking overnight news. Crews in Monticello are trying to figure out what caused an early morning house fire. News 18 Isabella Caruso has been at the scene since the calls first came in about that fire. Isabella, what are neighbors saying about this? Yeah, Sam and Trevor, I got here about 430 this morning and crews are still here right now investigating. The scene is a little bit more quiet than when I first got here. I'm going to step out and show you zoom in a little bit on the house. That was uh, on fire while I share some information with you. I spoke with Chief Galen Logan with the Monticello Fire Department. He says there's no cause determined yet, but here's everything that he did. He says there's no power, no electric and no gas in this house. And he said when crews arrived, the rear door to the house was open. There's nobody living in this house currently, and Galen told me they believe the house is up for a share sale. Dispatch received a call from a neighbor around 342 this morning who reported that the house was fire. And city police got here right after that call and reported that there were flames off the back of the house coming through the roof. And you can see in this image right now, mostly it's on the side and in the back of that house. They said it looked like the flare was blazing through, the fire was blazing most of the house. Chief Galen said multiple crews were called to come help put out the flames and it only took them about 15 minutes to do that. No injuries have been reported in this fire and the house is at the intersection of First and Walnut Streets. It's right near downtown Monticello. The address of the house is 513 North Street. First Street was blocked off from Chestnut to Turpy. It's not completely blocked off anymore, but crews are still working, so it is advised that you stay clear of this area. And I actually talked with a neighbor who was here. His name is Brian Simmons. He lives right the street toward Chestnut and he said that he could see the flames all the way from his house that they were pretty high up. I asked him if he saw anything or if he has any idea on what went down here and he says that he's already been hearing rumors but that he hopes they're not true. He said I hope that this wasn't arson. Now Chief Galen told me that the state fire marshal has been called and he, he will be coming here to do an investigation either today or tomorrow. So I do plan to call Chief Galen this afternoon and see if there are any updates on that and I will report those to you on air and on our website at WLFI.com. Com. Reporting live in Monticello, Isabella Caruso for News 18. Thank you, Isabella. Well